day for a ball game. Even dogs got to sunbathe in the bleachers at NBT Bank Stadium. News Channel 9's Josh Martin tells us all about Bark in the Park. <laughs> Play ball normally has a different meaning for these dogs. The Syracuse Mets hosted its second annual Bark in the Park on this Memorial Day, encouraging fans to bring their four-legged friends to the game. Nice to stay. We've probably had all spring, so here we are with all of our dogs. God, it's kind of cool. I mean, I love baseball. Like dogs, why not do it, right? Baseball took a back seat with so many canines walking around the concourse. There was a different dog everywhere you looked. I gotta ask you, how do you get a Great Dane to sit still for nine innings? Uh, we don't. No, he will. He'll sit right up here. Even some with their own jersey. I think events like this are perfect. Or we'll do more. We, we did the ice, the hockey one too, so we try to bring him out as much as we can. Bark in the Park is a super fun event, but it also has a lot of benefits. Dog tickets today were five dollars. All of those proceeds go to benefit local shelters and rescues to help out dogs like Nico here. Yes, this is amazing, absolutely amazing for all rescues here today. It, it just it's great exposure for all of us. The stadium was so dog friendly. The first 500 received their own bandana. A possum day at the ballpark. At MBT Bank Stadium, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. And on the field, players on both teams wore patches that read, Lest We Forget, in honor of Memorial Day. Coming up.